think we may have a left-handed throwing point from them. Um, but again, WKU only down two nothing, and while it seems like they have had no chance in this game, you uh, got to be careful with just up two nothing. Let's give a quick update, real quick, Alex. Uh, three nothing. Grand Valley is up on VCU. It looks like about yep. four minutes left in that game. What about the Michigan State game, Alex? Uh, let's see. Michigan State versus BGSU. Second half about to start. 25-45 going to be in that second half. Uh, Michigan State three to zero. We got four nothing. Central Michigan is up on DePaul. So that's your update. That's still the first half. That game got started late, so the Grand Valley game still winding down. Big catch there made for WKU number 20, I believe. Yeah, 20, Everett Taylor. I've been saying all weekend he's probably overall, along with Josh Hicks, uh, the best catcher for WKU. And I'm seeing a lot of open palm throws on JMU. you got to figure they're probably just going to try to nickel and dime WKU and uh, save their fingers because that's where you really start to hurt. See the guys with the tape on their fingers. I don't see any gloves for JMU. But you got to protect those, those fingernails, those fingertips as you just continue to grip game after game and round after round. Yeah, we've seen more than, uh, more than one player lose a fingernail after the end of the, uh, the tournament weekend. Yep, you just tried to uh, keep those hands in as good a shape as possible. So I think if, uh, especially if JMU takes another point, you'll see a lot of left-handed throws and a lot of open palm throws to try to save those fingers. Everybody's very happy with the updates. Yes, you all are welcome. Um, like I said, we only have the one stream for day two. But we will keep you all updated. <laughs> big <laughs> big kill for Big Bird and then killed by almost an identical throw. Yeah, back shot followed by another back shot. Back to the feet. No, I was going to make a bet. No, never mind. You Doesn't work. I saw the hamster wheel turning in your, in your little brain. Smell that burning wiring. Exactly. All right, so while we've got a minute, well, we will, of course, keep covering the game. What are your all's predictions at the moment? Who do you think are going to be the final two? Final two. That's a good question. Um, I think I liked what I saw out of Towson a lot. I mean, I think that they could be your dark horse. We had kind of talked before uh, yesterday about Ohio State potentially being the dark horse to get it, sneak into that championship game. But I wouldn't count Towson out. Uh, I like the grit that I saw from the Spartans yesterday. Um, Got to say, Grand Valley did not look the best yesterday. I think they were coasting. Central Michigan has, of course, been impressive all season, knocking off Grand Valley. So I'm going to go with, though, until someone knocks them off, and this will be fun to see a repeat of the last time Nationals was here. I'll go Grand Valley Central Michigan as my final two. All right, Grand Valley Central Michigan from Jazzy Josh Raymer. Ben Subcheck, your thoughts for the final two? CMU versus JMU. CMU versus JMU. So you don't even see Grand Valley making it into the final two? Nope, wasn't impressed. Okay, well, very... They don't play like a team. They have individually, they have amazing players, but they only, they're walking up, they're throwing alone. I did not see the same communication that I saw some from, uh, from other teams, including Townsend and CMU, and I mean, JMU's playing really good this, this week. Michigan State is impressive, and I just wasn't nearly as impressed with uh, Grand Valley. They had two points taken from them. They're losing their, losing their, their touch. Yeah, you know, I think I would really like to see, like, Townsend in Central Michigan. That's a game that I would really like to see happen. Um, I think, you know, I'm kind of in the same boat. I know the Grand Valley is a great team, but again, I haven't really been impressed by them either, and I get really sick of seeing them in the final game as well, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, if we talk about who we want to see, I mean, I think we all have a soft spot for Towson. Uh, we'd love to see them be able to make it. Uh, I like the guys from Central Michigan and Michigan State. I mean, nothing against Grand Valley. They've been there time and time again. So if you're talking about a game that you would like to see, I think we always like to see different teams make the championship. Fire up chips. Fire up chips, yeah, that's right. Uh, I think they've got a great chance. Uh, we've, I think they've probably got, yeah, the biggest lead right now, 4-0 lead against DePaul. So um, we'll see. I think they have as good a chance as any as Ooh, these, nice these final catch. teams left in. Yeah, great catch there by number 35 for WKU. Uh, WKU quietly, uh, I don't want to say dominating what? this point. WKU. WK, my voice is totally gone. You might hear some. Free, uh, going through puberty uh, cracks right here. 
Uh, I was going to mention something. I know we're talking a lot about Townsend, but it's because it's a team that we don't get to talk about at yeah, these national tournaments. And so to see a team that has not been talked about on the, uh, in the scene very much at all, and we just keep mentioning Grant. Oh, no, I just want to move over real quick. Okay, Michigan State uh, was doing push-ups on the court there. So they're obviously kind of checking out a little bit. Every time uh, they make a big push, someone drops to the floor and sees how many push-ups they can get in before BGSU counters. Uh, so there, still having a little bit of fun. Yeah, let's, let's take – actually, you know, let's take a quick round of some of the other courts real quick. So we're going to head off there. Uh, let's see. So over here we've got Michigan State and BGSU. 22 minutes left. Uh, Michigan State up by three, up 3-0. Three uh, I want to see these push-ups. Uh, I saw it through the curtain, and uh, I heard the counting as well. So, yeah, we're having some kind of trick throws. I think Michigan State's kind of just enjoying themselves. Let's keep going around the track. Oh, that's going to be tough. And you can walk forward. It's fine. So, got it. So, Michigan State, pretty commanding lead there, 3-0. to zero. All right. Yep, 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 yep. All right, so we're heading over towards the Central Michigan-DePaul game. This is one that we said uh, has the biggest uh, lead right now. Central Michigan, four, uh, DePaul, zero. All right, here we go, around in the corner. Let's see what we got going on here. All right, Central Michigan with a pretty big man advantage. DePaul sitting back. Looks like had a whole series of awesomes there. Lot, yeah, a lot of, a lot of trick throws. I think we might be doing like trick throws only or something. <laughs> the capoeira going. <laughs> so DePaul definitely showing why they have the reputation that they do. The uh, clowns of the court, so 55 definitely doing a lot more hopping around than is necessary. And all of that run up for that throw, okay. <laughs> so again, I, you know, I just mentioned it before, Central Michigan is one of the teams that I would, I would be really happy to see them uh, in the final. Unfortunately, Central Michigan, also one of the games that I haven't been able to broadcast. I haven't been able to spectate one of their games yet this tournament. All right, so we got uh, 16, yeah, 16 minutes left in this game. We'll start heading over back to the other side, get a few minutes of the Grand Valley game in for you. I want to see these push-ups. So Michigan State obviously doing a little bit of playing around, it looks like. BGSU with a pretty big man advantage. Yeah, so with all of the games on the courts right now being kind of blowouts, I think people, people are starting to have a little bit of fun. Uh, and, and this is nice to see, you know, it, it's nice when you have teams that even when they're losing, they can still kind of have a good attitude about it. Oh, yeah. I mean, I mean, that's the integrity of the sport. I mean, it, it was it's been like that for the past 10 years that this sport has been going on where, you know, there are some teams that are just going to have some fun with it. They know they came here to have fun and they weren't they didn't have a chance, but that's fine. Kim loving the, the crazy throws. We can obviously go back to that. Uh, okay, it looks like maybe DePaul just called a jailbreak on themselves <laughs> <laughs> over on their side. So, yeah, okay. So, yeah, we did just have a big uh, – just had a jailbreak over on the DePaul game. That, that is officially them um, surrendering the point and uh, the game as well, but uh, they're going to have fun with it no matter what. So, CMU is now going to – oh, number eight goes out. No, he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, yeah, he does. All right, now they're currently trying to... Uh, trying to make some baskets. Trying to make some baskets. The jump over the line. Number 27 for Central Michigan. 
just kind of hanging out down here. He's been seated for about 10 minutes now. <laughs> We have a we have a DePaul player couple on the scene. A couple, couple of defectors, two defectors. One the uh, amazing beard. <laughs> All right, we're moving on. Yeah, we'll head we'll head back over towards Grand Valley. So. BGSU and uh, Michigan State look like numbers are even out. Looks still looks like BGSU has a slight man advantage on this game. But again, this game's pretty much been decided. 17 minutes left, three to zero. <laughs> oh, here we. Go. Oh God. So all you're all, right, all's, yeah, yeah. Right. Well, you got you, you you push out like that. So you're all's next game. Who are you all up against next? Oh, uh, we're going up against CMU next, actually. Okay. What are your thoughts about that one? It's going to be a tough match. They play pretty they play pretty well, but I think if we take our time, play the way we know we can, we can we can take them. I'm pretty confident. Excellent, excellent. Liking the confidence. Uh, so any any special thoughts or anything you want to say to the audience getting ready for that game? Hopefully. Family friendly, hopefully. Hopefully I'll land a cartwheel and hit someone in the face. We'll be looking forward to it. Thanks a lot, guys. <laughs> All right. So some confidence coming from you, Kay. Not really, not really anything special planning for the win, but instead talking about doing cartwheels. Yep, Townsend cheering for themselves. Seems a little egotistical to me, but whatever. That's not <laughs> Okay, so yeah. Okay, this one's pretty well wrapped up. So let's go over and check out Grand Valley C. Oh, wow, nice catch there. All right, we'll do a quick check-in on the uh, JMU Western game here. We still got to go over and check out Grand Valley as well. Uh, so the DePaul game, DePaul game, Central Michigan game, they're just kind of messing around now. Same thing over here. They with, did a jailbreak and a real point, Jazzy. Yeah, they jailbreak did it. During a real point? Yeah, during a real point, they did a jailbreak, and about four or five of the uh, DePaul players went over to the Central Michigan side. <laughs> um, so same thing. Those two games have, are pretty well decided. Uh, we do want. I do want to go over and check out the Grand Valley game, see how that's going. Uh, still with the – Still with the Western JMU game. Western with, it looks like, three players in. Haven't had another point since we left. 13.30 uh, left in the game. So let's run over to Grand Valley real quick, see what we got going on over there. All right, Townsend here looking in on their next opponents, doing some stretching, getting ready for the next game. Grand Valley with a pretty one-sided game right now. Got Bosco, the last remaining player for VCU. Player that made, uh, Bosco actually made quite a few pretty fantastic catches during the ladies game earlier today. What you, what you just saw there is that you have to cross the neutral zone. You have to cross the line. What we're looking at is that white line right there that Grand Valley's uh, staying on. So if you don't cross it, then she will lose the shot clock. So she just got uh, a, a shot clock, clock violation. And, you know, see, this is another example of something we've talked about for a while now. You know, all of the other matches that are kind of in the same blowout territory right now, they've all kind of decided to make it kind of a fun game and they're just messing around. But... Both teams right now are still taking this very, very, very seriously. And wow, Bosco with a catch. Bringing AK-62 back into the game. And he's immediately taken back out. Bosco with another catch. Yeah, she's heading out, but they're bringing another player in. All right, and that's going to be it over there, so we'll head back over. I heard some.